The following video is sponsored by InstantMaddenCoins.com. The only place to get Madden Coins instantly on every console and platform is InstantMaddenCoins.com. Use code CLICKWID at checkout for a 10% discount. Hey, what is going on guys? Clickwood here back with another Madden 17 Ultimate Team video. And guys, today what we have are the team of the week for week 12. We have the full list here in this video, so you guys are going to get to see kind of what the attributes are of each card and, uh, you know, what you will need to actually get your hero at the end. And I'm going to spoil that real quickly. The team hero for the team of the week, week 12, is Michael Thomas of the New Orleans Saints, the rookie who is just having a ridiculous season. A lot of people are calling him the new Marcus Colston. I'm not sure if that's where it's going or what, but he actually, in my opinion, looks like a more talented version of Mike Marcus Colston, basically. Maybe not quite as big, but he definitely still has a, a good amount of size to him, and he is an absolute beast. But with that being said, guys, uh, let's hop in here and let's take a look at the Week 12 Team of the Week cards. We're going to start off at 82 overall of a gold card. For Mike, Malcolm Mitchell of the uh, New England Patriots, he had a nice game for them, uh, was able to score the game-winning touchdown. I believe he was the one who scored it. Pretty sure he was the one who scored it. Um, pretty nice attributes overall. Not anything super spectacular, but a decent card overall. 89 speed, uh, solid catching, solid everything, I guess, but really not anything too spectacular. So, uh, decent card, but uh, you know somebody that's new, at least, into the team of the week, so that's cool to give somebody a new upgraded card. Uh, the next one that we have is a uh, William Gay of the Pittsburgh Steelers. Another decent card, but again, not really anything too amazing. He does have decent play recognition, so that's good. Uh, his press is good at an 88, but his man coverage is quite weak at a 74, and his zone coverage is only an 84. So I'm not sure he's like going to be anything spectacular. Probably just going to be a card that you put into the set for the most part. I don't think a lot of people are going to be using this card on their teams uh, in Ultimate Team anyway. Then we have a Dontrell Inman who scored a really big touchdown for the Chargers this week. Uh, he does have an 88 speed for this card. Kind of a similar card actually to uh, the Malcolm Mitchell. So, you know, again, not really anything amazing, but he is six foot three, So solid card, I guess, overall. And again, it's cool to get these guys that haven't really had upgraded cards throughout the year and uh, give them something new. So, so that's always nice to see. Now we're going to start to get into the elites, and now we're going to have a little bit more of a conversation here. Uh, Tyreek Hill at an 87 overall. Not, I'm not going to get into my personal opinions on this guy, but uh, his talents on the field certainly uh, warrant him getting a team of the week this week. He scored a punt return touchdown, a rushing touchdown, uh, and then he also scored a receiving touchdown as well. So this is a guy who just had a ridiculous game, and he definitely deserved the team of the week. My personal opinion is that I kind of think he should have maybe even gotten the hero over uh, Michael Thomas. Now, the problem, is, of course, is that he hasn't had quite the overall season of Michael Thomas. So it's kind of one of those things where it's like, okay, so do you give Tyreek Hill the better card based on just this one week? And, you know, because it's team of the week, I think you do. Uh, I really do. I think that you give Tyreek Hill the better overall card. Uh, in this case, it's not really even close, to be honest with you. Tyreek Hill's, I mean, he has good attributes. He does have 93 speed. That's something you can't overlook right now at this point in the game because 93 speed is still just going to be an absolute killer for most defenses. People just can't cover that, you know, with like a standard cover three or especially with man coverage. There's just no way that you're going to be able to cover 93 speed throughout an entire game. Uh, and then, of course, he does also have good attributes besides that as well. Good jumping. Um, his release is good. He He's really just quite good overall, to be honest with you. He doesn't have like anything amazing that stands out beside his speed, but he's just a really solid overall receiver. Uh, next on the list, we do have another elite card, and this one is a defensive tackle for the New York Giants, Damon Harrison. Another really good defensive tackle card. Uh, we've been seeing some of these good defensive tackle cards come out lately, uh, and this one is definitely one of those. He has a really, really nice block shed at a 94. 85 for a power move and 63 for a finesse move. He's not going to be much of a pass rusher, but his run stuffing abilities are really going to be, uh, for as, as far as like an 87 overall, I don't think there's really anything that's going to be close to that, to be honest with you. So uh, a really nice card for him, and uh, he, I mean, he did deserve it. He had a good game on Sunday, so he's definitely deserving of it. Next on the list, we have Ryan Tannehill of the Miami Dolphins, who has just had a terrible season this year, so it's good to see him finally have a good game, and he is going to get that Team of the Week card this time as an 88 overall, so 
I'm not really sure that he deserves to be as high overall as he is in this card. I don't think he had like anything uh, like super spectacular of a game, but still a decent overall mutt card, at least here with 82 speed. Solid throwing attributes, but his throw accuracy deep is only an 83. Uh, to be honest with you, I'm a little bit disappointed that they decided to go with Tannehill, but I guess I kind of understand it just because they had to go with somebody. You know, like they had to get a quarterback in there at some point, and I, I guess I'm not really sure who else I would put above him. I mean, obviously, there's guys like Drew Brees and things like that, but you have to keep in mind, those guys are going to get upgraded cards no matter what. The team of the weeks are kind of more for guys that have like just ridiculous ass games uh, or guys that have a good game that were kind of unexpected. So that's why I kind of think uh, Tannehill does fit in here. I don't think he's really anything amazing though. So a uh, little bit disappointed there. And then we've got an 88 overall Mike Mitchell, who is again of the Pittsburgh Steelers, two guys in that secondary getting an upgraded card this week. So that's uh, kind of interesting. I don't think they really were like super amazing or anything but still decent card here uh, 89 speed 92 hit power for Mike Mitchell he's always a guy who has really nice attributes uh whatever year you look at him if you go back and look even when he's played elsewhere he was definitely a beastly card in mutt so 90 acceleration 89 speed with good zone coverage man coverage is terrible but what are you going to do uh but that hit power is certainly something that we can make use of here in ultimate team uh so it's good to see him get that nice card and then last but not least of the basic elite cards for the team of the week we've got a marcel darius who is a 91 overall beastly beastly card here again very similar to the damon harrison in that he is a monster against the run the difference is that marcel darius is also quite good against uh in, in terms of uh pass rush i should say so he's got the 94 strength but he also has that 87 power move so he's going to be able to actually get after the quarterback a little bit better than your harrison and he's a little bit quicker than harrison as well so certainly a good card darius is another one of those guys who if you go back and look over the past couple of years he has always had really really good mutt card so i would expect this one to be good as well now before we get into uh the final two guys so we'll have again the michael thomas here we'll go over that in just a second but i want to point out that i think taylor gabriel deserves to have a team of the week and he did not have one this week disappointing because he scored on some really really nice plays this week and it's just kind of one of those things where I, I think it sucks when guys who have those breakout games don't get a team of the week card. Now, it's very possible that he'll have a football outsider, so I wouldn't just like call it altogether a lost cause, but I certainly think he deserves it, and he did not get one, so that's a little bit disappointing. But with that said, let's hop into the Michael Thomas. Take a look at this card. Very, very nice attributes with the 91 speed, 6'3", 92 catching, solid release, uh, solid attributes for the most part overall. The spectacular catch being a 92 tells you that this card is going to be able to go up and get those deep passes in single coverage. He is definitely a guy that you can bomb it to and do a, a you know, you can just put up huge stats with this card. Uh, go, guys that like to run cover three or guys that like to run uh, no safety help over the top with man coverage, this card is going to abuse defenses. So certainly a fun card to use. I will probably do my best to acquire this at some point because this looks like a very very nice wide receiver card and maybe aside from like the super high-end legend cards and things like that I don't know that there's going to be a lot of receivers anytime soon that are better than this so uh, definitely a really nice card and certainly something I'm looking forward to trying out now last but not least guys we have a guy who I think could potentially be the defensive player of the year this season if he continues on his current pace and that is Khalil Mack this is a guy who did it all this past week he had I think he had like a sack and interception a forced fumble fumble recovered and he scored a touchdown I mean that is just insane and obviously he had tackles besides that as well he did it all on the defensive side of the ball and he is just generating some crazy crazy pressure this season for the Raiders he is certainly a big reason why that team is where they are currently they're at top of the AFC they are the number one seed right now in the AFC for the playoffs the Oakland Raiders I mean who would have thought that going into the year when they're in a division with the Broncos and, and with the Chiefs and even with the Chargers that is a tough division this season and the Raiders are not only atop that division they're also atop the whole con conference ahead of the Patriots ahead of every other team in the conference so it's cool to see the Raiders finally making a return to prominence and like I said Khalil Mack is certainly one of the guys that is making that a, a possibility with his attributes that he has uh, on the field and in Mutt too I mean you take a look at this 88 speed 
at linebacker, man, that is a crazy card. You take a look at the power moves, the hit power, every single thing that you would look for in a card, Khalil Mack is going to have. I'm telling you guys, uh, the the actual, I guess I shouldn't say that because we don't see the power move and the finesse move, but Khalil Mack's always got good attributes in those things, and he is going to be one of the best pass rushers in this game. So if you run a 3-4, make sure you're blitzing with him. Uh, I would not really drop him into coverage, although he has, I'm sure, decent coverage attributes, but I would certainly try to use him as a 4-3 defensive end or a, an edge pass rusher in a 3-4, and he's going to do some serious damage for you. So with that said, guys, that is going to do it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Hopefully you enjoyed the commentary over the cards as well. And I want to hear from you guys. Are there any other guys that deserve to be the team of the week this week that did not get it? Who got snubbed? Who do you think shouldn't be on here that is? My opinion was Ryan Tannehill. But I want to hear from you guys. What do you think? Let me know in the comments section below. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Drop a like. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll talk to you guys again soon.